I know what one of the things you might be looking for are some tips around routines. Now we did study routines of executives that breed better mental health. One of the routines is to actually create uh, up to two hours a day, but at least an hour a day of think, not just thinking, but contemplative review time. You know, if I showed you my calendar at the peak of the pandemic, it was half of an hour straight through. And no wonder I was exhausted at the end of the day, but I just got up and did it again. Today, you look at my calendar and I've got two one hour blocks of red on my, on my calendar that have been given to me to think, to actually read my emails, to review things so that it doesn't bleed into the evenings and weekends. Um, so that I can actually lead my life because I've, I've given so much more time back to the company by not traveling that the company doesn't deserve to have all of my time in evenings and weekends. And so we've got to leave that, that curated space. And we, and my com my team treats those red blocks like they are my meetings and they are, they're my meetings with me. 100%. Yeah. Um, I, I often say to people, if you, if you had had, if you'd had a, uh, heart problem of some sort, and you had a follow-up with your cardio cardiologist, would you cancel that? And of course, people say, heck no. I said, have you ever canceled a meeting you scheduled for yourself? Yes. Why? Right? The whole point is why? Well, I, you know, you wouldn't cancel the cardi it's cardiologist. But I do it all. Your I, red I, box or cardiologist time. I still violate it, right? I did it this morning. It was funny. I was, I was with my administrative assistant, and we were in a meeting with my team, and that, and I, and, and it was an, half an hour meeting and it ended up going an hour, half of an hour into my review time. Right. And I paused at that. And I said, you know, I said, Michael, um, you have permission when I'm bleeding into review time to remind me and the right. team that that's what we're doing and to make us make a conscious choice. That's the key making it. Right. We're going to sometimes do it, but let's make it totally conscious and say, okay, conscious. in this moment, that's the right. And, and I have to say that that's attention. the thing that we learned in our research, which is we did a lot of things during the pandemic well, and yet they weren't purposeful. They were out of reaction. 